Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? Hi, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hey, how are you tonight? Hi. Oh, you are fine. Excellent. Thank you, Antonio. So, welcome to the class. Elizabeth, Byron, Johnny, Jaime, Alejandro, Mari, Linda, eh, Jaime Reyes, Marvin Welcome to the class, Jonathan, too. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Hello, teacher. Alejandro. Good evening. Julian, good evening. Silvia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? How was your jueves? How was your Thursday? Fine. Very busy. Well, it's very busy. Oh, very busy. Very, it was busy. very busy. Very busy. Julian said it was a nice day. Un día bonito. It was a nice day. So, hello, Nelson. Good evening. Beatriz, good, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, tonight is our last class. Uh, from this course, tonight is the last class. So tomorrow you are going to sleep uh, happy, quietly. Van a dormir felices, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, some of you were working at the platform very night, last night, right? You were stay up late yeah. yesterday, uh, finishing that. Hello, Beatriz, good evening. Welcome to the class. Uh, so let me ask a question. Todos terminamos la plataforma? Yes. 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 Ah, okay. Congratulations then. Solo pedirles de favor, ¿verdad? Que sigamos teniendo un poquito de paciencia con lo del diploma. Y estén seguros que sí lo van a recibir, ¿verdad? Pero aún no se ha habilitado la opción. Así que, miren. Oh. <laughs> Así que, por favor, eh, just be patient. Solo sean pacientes. Y, y I este... need leer. Ok. Y, do you have a question about the platform, about the final exam? Any question? How was it? ¿Cómo estaba? Difficult. Good evening. You see, hello, William. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello. Teacher. Thank you. Tell me, Nelson. Uh, why no? Go to the Tunco right now, or oh, let's go then. Let's go then. Who wants go to go? Ahead. <laughs> Who wants to go? Y tenemos una despedida como la de la escuela, ¿verdad? Una excursión. Today, to, tonight, tonight. Ah, okay, excellent. ¿Quién pone el bus? Nelson pone the drink. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he is worried about the drinks. Okay. Ok, eh, ha sido bueno estar con ustedes, ¿verdad? Todos estos días anteriores. Thank you very much for your attention, your puntuality, your participation too. Thanks a lot. And I hope you have learned a lot. Espero que hayamos aprendido mucho ¿verdad? during this course. And continue studying English, right? English is a very interesting language and it's very useful too. Es un idioma muy interesante y muy útil también. ¿eh? So I am sure yeah. that in any field of work, it is going to be useful. En cualquier campo de trabajo que usted se desenvuelva, algún día va a ser útil, ¿verdad? Someday it is going to be useful. So continue learning, ¿verdad? Continue learning. So you are so brilliant students, and I am sure that you are going to acquire this language. And you are going to be really good at English. So tonight we're going to have a feedback of the course. What is a feedback? What does word mean? Do you have an idea? What's a feedback? Retroalimentación. Thank you, Nelson. Eh, vamos a tener una retroalimentación del curso, ¿verdad? So let's start with this. Yes, keep a second. Here is the presentation of tonight. And Beatriz is saying, yes, I will continue. Perfect. Excellent. 
We are waiting for you in the course beginner three. Not with me, right? Probably with other teachers, but you are going to continue learning a lot. So thank you, Beatriz. So tonight we are going to study these. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Part of the course. Here we go then. Today is our last class. This is this class number 16. So welcome and let's start making sentences, simple present tense. Do you remember this topic? Simple present tense. So how to make positive sentences? We are going to need a subject. El sujeto puede ser uno de estos personal pronouns. I, you, we, and they. Plus a verb, plus a complement. Esto vamos a necesitar para hacer una oración afirmativa o positiva en presente simple. Un sujeto que puede ser acá con el sujeto I, you, we, and they. Vamos a necesitar el verbo y el complemento. Y I have here some examples. I live in Soya Bango. You work in a big company. They need a vacation. We go swimming every weekend. Para la tercera persona, las cuales son, ¿cuáles son las terceras personas del singular en simple present? He, she, it. Thank you, William. It's he, she, and it. Then we are going to need the verb. Pero al verbo vamos a agregarle una terminación. Dependiendo de en qué letra termina el verbo, vamos a agregar S, S, I, S, o I, I, S. Look at this. Most of the verb, we are going to, to add just S. A la mayoría de verbos solo vamos a agregarle una S. S. And los verbos to the verse that end in O, X, C, H, S, H, S, S, we are going to add E, S. And for the verbs that end in consonant plus white, we are going to add I, E, S. So let's see this. He drives a car. She lives in San Salvador. He works at the hospital. It plays with a ball. So look at this bird. ¿Cuál sería la terminación en tercera persona? Live, for hey. example. She lives. 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 Works. Lives. Works. 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 Drives. 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 Meet. And what about have? Has. Es un, ver, es un verbo irregular y la tercera persona es has. Muy bien. En the last one, go and do. Does. 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 Goes and does. Does. Goes, does. Goes, does. Goes, does. Excellent. I volunteer to read the examples. I volunteer to read these examples, please. Me, William. Thank you, William. I live in Soyapango. You work in a big company. They need a vacation. We go swimming every weekend. Thank you very much. Now here, the next examples, the third person examples, who wants to read them? Who wants to read the examples? A volunteer, please. Me, Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. He drives a car. She lives in San Salvador. He works at the hospital. It plays with the ball. Thank you very much. Excellent job. So let's continue. Let's see. Negative forms. Negative sentences. Negative sentences. We're going to need the subject. 
Eh, con los pronombres I, you, we, and they, we are going to use do not, que contractado es don't, las avert. En las terceras personas, in the third person, we are going to have he, she, it, las that's not, y contractado, the contraction is doesn't, las avert. And the complement, in the complement. She doesn't live in Chalatenango. I don't work. You don't drive a car. They don't work in a restaurant. He doesn't need a house. He doesn't live in San Salvador. He doesn't need food. So remember this, with the third person, he, she, and also it, we're going to use doesn't. With the pronouns I, you, they, and we, we are going to use yeah. done to make negative sentences. I volunteer, please, to read then these negative sentences. Teacher, one question. Tell me, what is your question? Uh, in the negative form, in these oraciones, the verb no suffer ningún, ningún cambio. No se cumpla. Eh, ni S, ni ES, ni IES, IES. Yo lo auxiliar da. Ok, excelente, thank you. Ok, William, here is the answer. Eh, in the third person, we don't need to ask an S to the verb because the third person is in the auxiliary. So, okay. that's it. La sí. tercera persona lo sufre el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Ahí afecta al auxiliar. Doesn't, so he doesn't need a house. He doesn't okay. live in San Salvador. That's why, por esa razón, okay. le agregamos una S al verbo. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you for your question. I volunteer to practice the sentences. Who wants to read them? Any volunteer tonight? Come on, tomorrow it's Friday. So you are going to press. Sí, Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. She doesn't live in Chalatenango. I don't work. You don't drive a car. They don't work in a restaurant. He doesn't need house. He doesn't live in San Salvador. He doesn't need food. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next one. So how to make questions in simple things? Easy, we are going to write the auxiliary do and the auxiliary does at the beginning of the sentence. Do with the pronoun I, you, we, and they. Plus a verb, plus a complement in the question mark. The third person, in the third person, we are going to use does at the beginning of the question. Subject, it could be he, she, or it, plus a verb. That's a compliment in the question mark. Look at this example. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Do you get angry easily? No, I don't. Do you like orange? Orange? Yes, I do. Does he work at the hospital? Yes, he does. Does she drive a car? No, she doesn't. So in these ways, we may questions or interrogative sentences in simple present. Utilizando el auxiliar do y el auxiliar does en terceras personas. So, can you please answer the following questions? Let's try it. Here we go. Question number one. Who wants to answer this question? What time did you get up? At, <clears throat> at 5 p.m. Okay, excellent. I get up at 5 p.m. Very good answer. Any other answer, please? What time do you get up? I get up at 4 p.m. Excellent. I get up at 4 a.m. Any other answer? What time do you get up? Me. Thank you, Beatriz. And then Nelson. 
I get up at five, five o'clock. Thank you. I get up at five o'clock. Excellent answer. Thank you. Nelson, it's your turn. Tell me. I get up at five o'clock too. Thank you. I get up at five o'clock a.m. too. I get up at four a.m. o'clock. Okay, excellent. I get up at four in the morning. You can say to that. I get up at four in the morning. Let's see the next one. What time do you go to work? Who wants to answer this question? What time do you go to work? I volunteer, please. If no, I'm going to choose someone. Nobody wants to answer this question. Okay, I, was... I, I go to work at 7 a.m. Okay, excellent. I go to work at 10, 10 p.m. or 7, 7 a.m. Oh, 7, 7 a.m. Thank you. Any other answer? What two. time do you want to work? Oh, Me at 7 a.m. too. Same, same, Jonathan. The same schedule, <laughs> the same schedule. El okay. mismo horario. Uh -huh. the, uh -huh. the same, <clears throat> the same schedule. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Beatriz. Let's see the next question. How do you get <clears throat> to work? How do you get to work? The answer I is get, I get to I get to work at 5 <laughs> p.m. Okay, excellent. Excellent sentence. I get to work at what is what time did you say? Can you please repeat? 5 5, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay, but this question, that is a good sentence. Thank you, Beatriz. But this question means, ¿Cómo llegas al trabajo? How do you get to work? Do you remember this? And you say, by bus, by car, by airplane. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand the question. <laughs> no, no problem, Beatriz. <laughs> Yo pensé que decía a qué hora dejé el trabajo, pero me equivoqué de verbo. Ah, ok, pero la oración estuvo muy bien. That was an excellent <laughs> sentence. So, how do you get to work? And you say, I get to work by car. I get to work by motorcycle. I get, I get to work on the car. Okay, excellent. I get to work by car. By car. Any other answer? I that get is... to work in a bus. I get to work by bus. Excellent. By bus. Practice, practice. Today is our last class, so practice a lot. So... I get to work. Tell me, Julian. I get to work, I ride a motorcycle. Okay. Then you say, I ride a motorcycle to work. Es otra manera de decir, I ride a motorcycle to work. It's correct to say, it's correct say, I get, I get to work by Uber. Yes. Yeah. Or by taxi. I get to work by Uber or I get to work by taxi. Okay. But we can use Uber. Let's see the next one. Do you go to work by bus? Las primeras... No, I don't. No, I don't. Excellent answer. No, Las... I don't. No, I don't. Thank you. Las primeras tres preguntas son information question. In this case, it's a yes, no question. Do you go to work by bus? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Those are the possible answers. Let's see the next one. Do you go to work by car? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. 
No, I don't. Oh, Silvia is saying, no, I don't. Perfect. What do you do? Look at this. Another information question. What is the meaning of this question? Do you remember that? What do you do? What's the meaning of this question? I, I'm a accountant. Excellent. I am an accountant. I am an I accountant. Am accountant. I am I a am. seller. Excellent. I am a seller. Seller. I am, I am a seller person. I am a sales person. So excellent. A qué te dedicas? That is the meaning of this question. What do you do? We study that right profession, occupations. So you say, I am a lawyer, I am an engineer, I am a cashier, I am a waitress, I am a, way, a salesperson. So, yes, it has a con. What do you do, teacher? I am an English teacher. Only? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Full time. Yes, I work yes. in a, in a school in the morning too. Then the uh, the next uh, the next course. Uh, how do you say? Usted lo brindará? Um, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm not so How sure do you yet. say? Usted lo impartirá? How do you say? Will you teach? Will you teach in the next course? Or oh, are you going to be the teacher for the next course? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bueno. Uh, Pueden apagar sus micrófonos, por favor. Okay. Thank you. Alguien estaba viendo ahí las noticias, I guess. So, how often do you cook? Yo. La están oyendo en la casa. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, how often do you cook? I never cook. See, I never cook. Thank you, Jaime. I never cook. I always, always cook. Excellent. I always cook. And so I cook. I sometimes I, cook. I always cook in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always cook. The old time. Okay. Old break, time. Breakfast, old lunch, time. and dinner. I usually yeah. cook. I yeah. usually cook. Okay. Excellent. I oh, sometimes cook. cook. Oh, see, I yes, sometimes I cook. I sometimes cook. I never who, cook. Who say who say never cook? It was Sylvia, I guess. Yeah. Really? I don't like. Why? Oh. I don't like. Really? <laughs> okay. Me too, right? I don't like to cook. And number eight. How often do you listen to music? How often do you listen to music? I always listen to music. I always listen to music. Excellent, excellent answers. I always listen to music. I usually listen to music. I usually listen to music. And what is your favorite music? Electronica. <laughs> Mari says electronic music. Nelson, what is your favorite music? It depends. Oh, it depends on what? Uh, my estado, the animal. My feelings. The oh. place. Okay, it depends. The place, my feelings. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sometimes, nice. sometimes, eh, los temerarios. <laughs> 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 okay. Algunas veces de romantic with, uh, music. Temerario with, uh, with Rick Beer. No. <laughs> yeah, you know. No, okay. Los temerarios en alcohol, it's, um, let's see, dangerous, right? 
No, no, no es temeraria, no. <risa> Okay, let's see in the last one. How often do you eat pupusas? How often do you I like pupusas? pupusas. I hardly eat sometimes. I always eat pupusas. I sometimes eat pupusas. Okay, you say I always eat pupusas, says Mario. I sometimes eat pupusas. Yes. Okay, pupusas are delicious. What is your favorite ingredient? Cheese. Cheese. How can I say cheese? Hola, hola, teacher. Hello, what is your question? Este, ¿cómo puedo decir eh, me gustan las pupusas y me me gusta hacerlas también? Porque oh, si las hago. I, I like to eat and cook pupusas. Or I like to cook and eat pupusas. Ah, ok, thank you. Ok. Bueno, un día de estos le llegamos allá a comer pupusas. <ríe> to eat pupusas. Ok, bienvenido. Welcome to, todos, todos. A la wow. despedida. <ríe> Ahora eran las pupusas. <ríe> ok. Y Nelson era bebida. Welcome to the quilt. Ok, we are on time. We are still are on time. Todavía estamos en tiempo. So let's see the next, the next set of questions we're going to practice tonight. Give me a second. Uh, what's your favorite food? Can you please say me and answer the question? My Jonathan. favorite food. Okay, Jonathan. Uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is lasagna. Lasagna, excellent. Any other answer? Say me and answer the question. My favorite food, uh, chilaquilas. Chilaquilas, okay, Mexican food. Any other answer? What's your favorite food? Me. Thank you, Mari. Tell me. My favorite food is a Mexican food. It's Mexican food. Excellent. Chili. My favorite Guacamole. food is Salvadorian food. Salvadorian food. So you mean yuca frita, fried yuca, eh, pastelitos, tamales, Chilada. enchiladas. Yes. Pupusas too. Nice. Let's see the next one. Let's go with the next question. What's your favorite drink? <laughs> My beer. favorite drink is water. Water, okay, water. Me too. Oh, my Marisa. favorite drinks, my favorite drinks, uh, juice. Juice, okay. Juice, juice. excellent. My favorite, my favorite drink, drink, a coffee. Coffee. My favorite drink is coffee. Complicate My favorite drink is chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. My my favorite drink is tea. Tea. Okay. Excellent. Tea. Perfect. Milk. What about milk? Nobody likes milk. No, I don't like. Okay. Yes, I like. Frosting. Yes, I like. Yes, I like milk. Rotting. Coffee with milk. Uh, and Kenna, can you please repeat your answer? My favorite drink is frozen. Oh, frozen. Frozen. Oh, frozen is delicious. Uh, Nelson, coffee con piquete or sin piquete? Or solo uh, piquete? I love frappe. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's your Today, favorite? Today, I, I drink a coffee with frappe. Oh, is it delicious? Yeah, y con, con uno, un frappe con, con un espresso. Oh, very interesting. So, what's your favorite vegetable? 
My favorite. My favorite is carrots. Carrots. My favorite vegetable is zucchini. Zucchini. My favorite vegetable is potatoes. Perfect. Any other answer? My favorite vegetable is broccoli. Broccoli is delicious. Any other answer? Oh, you don't like vegetables. Then let's go with fruit. What's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit my is favorite apple. Is... Okay, my favorite fruit is, is watermelon. Apple. Watermelon. My favorite fruit. fruit. What is this? Are grapes. grapes. Orange. Orange. Grapes. My favorite fruit is coconut. Coconut. My favorite fruit is tangerine. Tangerine. Delicious. Tangerine My favorite delicious. fruit is banana. Banana. Okay. My favorite fruit is strawberry. Is strawberries. Someone has a question. What is your question? I had a question. Who has a question? Alguien tenía una pregunta? Sure. Okay. Yes. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Can you please repeat? ¿Cómo se de pronuncia Ryan en inglés? Ryan. I'm not so sure if that word exists. Ryan. It is, let me see. Give me a second and Ryan. It is Myrtold. Myrtold. That's fruit. Oh, we can say Arrayan too, right? You can say Arrayan. You can say Arrayan too in English. Any other question? No more questions? What do you need to make a pizza? Ciruela. Teacher, how do you say ciruela? Ciruela, that is another difficult fruit. I would say plum. Plum. Plum, P-L-U-M. Plum. Yes, it's P-L-U-M, okay. plum. Plum. What do you need to make a pizza? What do you need to make a pizza? Cheese, tomato. Okay. Champiñones. Mushroom. You say cheese, tomatoes. Make a pizza. Onion. 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 Onions. <laughs> Uh, flour, para la masa, harina, flour, flour. Uh, harina. Any other? Piña. Pineapple, okay, pineapple. Sauce. Salami. Sauce. Oil. Salami, oil. What Tomato more? sauce. Tomato sauce. What more do you need to make Onions. a pizza? Onions, yes. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. What about sugar and salt? Salt. Yes, yes. Salt. salt and sugar. Both, right? I guess both. Both of pepper. them. Pepper. Pepper too. We need some peppers. Green peppers. Red. Yeah. Okay. Red peppers too? Yes. Okay, what about the next? What do you need to cook chicken soap? Water and chicken. Uh, chicken. chicken. Water. Water, water, chicken. 
Butter and chicken we need, we need and rice. Rice. With gillies. <laughs> rice with gillies, yes. Vegetables. Bang some vegetables. Potato. Potatoes. Apio. Mora. Celery. Celery Mora. is apio. Carrot. Yes. Chipilin. Oh, chipilin. <laughs> Albahaca. Some carrots. Oh, and what about to make a pupusa? Chicken soup is made. No rest. <laughs> and... No. Pimienta. Okay. Garlic. Garlic too. Garlics are important. Garlics. Who is your favorite singer? Dua Lipa. My favorite singer is Dua Lipa. Excellent. I don't know. mind him. I don't mind him. Any other? Who Oreja de Van Gogh. Okay. My favorite singer is Oreja de Van Gogh. My, my favorite singer, The Weeknd. Oh, The Weeknd. They have a very nice music. My favorite singer is Tupac and Dr. Dre. Okay, I have never heard them. It's okay. <laughs> the next, any other answer? Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Ready Meadows. Thank you very much. Any other? My... Tell me, tell me, what is your favorite singer? Who is your favorite singer? No more answer, then let's go to the next question. My favorite Where? singer is uh, Joaquin Sabina. Thank you. Oh, that is a very good music. Really nice. Joaquin Sabina. Uh, where do you live? I live in Quetzaltepec, Quetzaltepec City. Okay, excellent. I uh, live in Santo Tomás. Thank you. Any other answer? Where do you live? Uh, I, li I live in, in San Salvador City. San I live in Santana. City. Okay, excellent. I live in Pueblo Vivo. I live in Aguachapam. Thank you. Thank I you. live in San Martín. I live in, I live in Soyapango. Perfect. I live in Tonotepeque. Okay, very good answer. Thanks a lot. I live in. When do you study? It means, do you study in the morning, in the afternoon, or at night? When do you study? I study in the INSAFOR. Oh, I study in the INSAFOR, but... In the night. night. In the night. In the night. At night. At time, at night, at night o'clock. Oh, we say at night. I study at night. Can you please say the sentence? I study at night. I study at night. Study at night. Thank you. Let's see the next one. Which color do you prefer? Red or yellow? Yellow. My favorite color is red. And red. It's red. Anything. So it's red. I prefer, I prefer red. Red. Okay, excellent. I prefer red. So the next one, I what is your yellow. favorite color? My favorite color is light blue. Light blue, my favorite color is light blue. Any other answer? What is your favorite color? Tell me. Me, me. My Tell favorite me. color is uh, me, Beatriz. My favorite color is green. Your favorite color is green. Okay, excellent. Let's see how many rooms does your house have? Who wants to answer this question? How many rooms does your house have? My, my house, uh, my house, my house has one room. One room, okay, excellent answer. My house has one room, perfect. 
Any My house else? has three, three, three bedrooms. Okay, my house has three bedrooms. Any other answer? My house has in two rooms. Two rooms. Elizabeth? My, my house has three rooms has three rooms. Okay, excellent. How much sugar do you like in your coffee? Three. Three spoons. Three spoons? Two. Three spoons. Two spoons. Two spoons. Two spoons. Or any sugar. I don't need any sugar in my coffee. Yes. Me too. Me too. Okay, any sugar in your coffee. And the last one, why are you studying English? When are you studying English? Because I would like to have other <clears throat> work. Okay, excellent answer. Because I want to have another job. Why are you studying English? That is the right question. Maybe because it's very important. Okay, because it's very important. Yeah, it's important. English is very important. Okay, as you can see in this set of questions, we have the WH word, who, where, when, which, what, how many, how much, and why. What's the meaning of who? It asks, yeah. yes, yeah. It, it asks for a person. Who is your favorite yeah. singer? Esta, eh, esta, who pregunta por una persona, ¿verdad? ¿Quién? Who is your favorite singer? And you say, my favorite singer is Ricardo Arjona. My favorite singer is Thalia. My favorite singer is Jennifer Lopez, and so on. So, Shakira. Where, Shakira, too. So number two, where do you live? This ask for a place. And donde? Donde vives. When it asks for a time. Don't forget this. When do you study? Okay. When. okay. When is cuando. Cuando, I'm sorry. Which? Que. Cual. Which is cual. Pero lo vamos a utilizar cuando tengamos opciones. Look at this, uh, at this question. Which color do you prefer? Red or yellow? Usted tiene dos opciones. Entonces, en ese caso, utilizamos which. When you have option to choose. The next one, what? What is your favorite color? One. ¿Cuál? También pregunta qué, ¿verdad? Por una cosa. What is your favorite color? How many? What about the question, how many? ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántos? Bueno, ¿cuántos? Pero lo vamos a utilizar con nombres contables. How many apples? How many orange? How many cherries? How many plants? So, in how much? También significa cuánto. ¿Cuánto? Pero lo utilizamos. Lo utilizamos con nombres incon... incontables. Incontables. nouns. Like sugar. Look at this. How much sugar? How much salt? How much sand? How much milk? How much juice? How much beer? How much coffee? So with uncountable nouns. And the last one, why? Is asking for a reason. Okay. Yes? Okay. ¿Por qué? Yo puedo, digamos, preguntar eh, cuánto dinero tienes, tendría que, que decir how many money o how much money. Eh, money es un nombre incontable. Money eh, no se puede contar. How, how much. much money. Entonces, en ese caso, decimos how much money. Pero, ¿por eh. qué dice how many room? Ahí, ahí se pueden contar. Yeah. No, it's how many rooms. 
Ah. Eh, los cuartos sí los podemos contar. One room, two rooms, three rooms. Pero la palabra money no puedes un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros. So we ah, can just okay. no say that. So money is uncountable. Then I say, how much money? How much money do you have? How much money do you want? How ah, much okay. money? Okay, thank you It's for your okay. question. Yes? Hello, tell, 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 say. What was your opinion? No, 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 nada, nada. Ah, okay, let's continue then. Talking about my abilities, aprendimos esto también, verdad? I can, so this is the pronunciation, can, I can't cook. The next one, who wants to read the next one? A volunteer, please. Read the next one, please. You can drive a car. You can. I can cook. You can drive a car. The next can one. can play the room, rooms. She can sing very well. We can swim. Excellent. So I can cook. You can drive a car. He can play the drums. She can sing very well. We can swim. And the negative, the negative sentences. It says, I can't. Can't. I, I can't. can't. I can't dance. She can't make TikTok. He can't fix a bicycle. They can't play the drums. I want you to read these examples, please. Who wants to read them? Negative sentences, talking about abilities. I can't. You can't dance. She can't make TikToks. He can't fix a bicycle. They can't play the bedroom, the drums, perdón. Thank you very much, Julian. So, can you is the question, can you swim? Let's see the abilities of some students. No, in I the can't. Group. Okay, Nelson yes, said, I no, can. I can. Julian, can you play the drums? No, I can't. William, can you sing very well? No, I can. Jonathan, can you dance? No, I can't. No, you can. Okay, hay que practicar, ya viene Navidad. <laughs> Las <laughs> Jaime, can you fix a bicycle? Yes, I can. Excellent. Uh, Silvia, can you swing? Yes, I can. Uh, Mario, can you drive a car? Yes, I can. Can you fix a car? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, Susana, can you cook? Yes, I can, sure. Ok, excelente. Bueno, esa es la pregunta, ¿verdad? Para preguntar acerca de las habilidades. Eh, bueno. María Sánchez, can you do the dishes? What does it mean? Uh, ¿Puede usted lavar los trastes? Yes, I can. No, I can. Yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ok. A mí siempre me regañaban porque me quedaban con jabón. <laughs> I can. Ok, so can. To talk about abilities. Jamile Torres, can you climb trees? Y Carla de Hernández, ¿can you play soccer? No, I can't. Ok, Beatriz, ¿can you play volleyball? No, I can't. Rubén, ¿can you play tenis? Hello, Rubén. No, I can't. 
No hay que. Ok, excelente. Bueno, de esa manera preguntamos acerca de las habilidades, que fue el último tema que vimos. Habilities, talking about habilities. So, do you have a question? So, just yes, to say thank you. Thank you, Frank. Preguntas, preguntas. This is the moment. Ok, René is working. So, this is the moment. Do you have a question? Do you have a question, a comment? Preguntas, comentarios, quejas, no empujones, ¿no? <laughs> ok, uh, ok, um, as you know, today is the last class, right? And we are going to finish this part tonight. And congratulations for your effort. You did a very big effort working on the platform. And that was nice. Algunos hasta noche, ¿verdad? Estaban por ahí, ¿verdad? Casi a las 12 de la noche terminando la plataforma. Pero lo lograron, ¿verdad? Felicidades. Típico Salvadorian. <laughs> At the last moment. Waiting the last moment. Nos, nos gustan las emociones fuertes, ¿verdad? Al filo Thank de la nave. Thank you, your patience. Uh, oh, ok. Thank you, Jaime. Bueno, me gustaría escuchar algunos comentarios. ¿Qué les pareció el curso? ¿Any volunteer? Este curso lo sentí más dinámico a la maestra anterior que nos tocó. Y como más práctico. Ah, ok. Thank you. Eh, Disculpadme, ¿verdad? En algunas ocasiones tuvimos interrupciones. Todos queríamos participar al mismo tiempo. But I really like that. Me gustó que participaran. Pero a veces, este, nos, ¿cómo decir? Todos eran al mismo tiempo y había mucha interferencia. I apologize for that. Bueno, eh, eh, personalmente, disculpe. Continúe, Nelson. Ok, gracias. Personalmente, pues, este, lo felicito. Pues, definitivamente tiene la vocación de profesor. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that comment. Any other comment? In my case, la verdad, igual, este curso lo sentí más interactivo en relación a la a teacher anterior. Y agradecerle, la verdad, tiene bastante vocación. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marvin. Sí, el... el... Hola, buenas noches a todos. El, el hacer esos break room pequeños te da la oportunidad de, de que todos participen. Entonces está más esa interacción y algo de rescatar del, del curso anterior que a la hora que hacías la entonación de la que vivieras la realmente la lo que se estaba diciendo en el sentence, ¿verdad? Para que le dieras esa entonación correcta al momento de de, de decir las palabras y pues felicitarlo por su, por su labor y por, por, su, por su paciencia para con todos nosotros ok, thank you Mario it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure friend. we are here to help you ok, thank you very much any other comment muchas gracias teacher por, por dedicar su tiempo a, a enseñarnos este muy especial y, y valioso idioma que es el inglés, muchas gracias Thank you, William. Thank you very much. Gracias, teacher, por la paciencia que nos ha tenido también. Thank you, Yamilet. Miss teacher. Thank you, Beatriz. Share with Buenas us, noches. Please. Buenas noches a todos los compañeros. Eh, la verdad, yo, yo siempre he sido así bien hablantina y me gusta participar, aunque me equivoque. Y, y eso es lo que me ha gustado de usted, profesor, de que nos corrige, nos corrige, si decimos malas cosas, nos corrige. Y eso es bueno, porque a veces hay profesores que porque uno no se sienta mal, no nos corrigen. Y eso me gusta, y ha sido bien personalizada la atención, nos han instruido, bueno, usted y, y en la plataforma nos están haciendo hincapié a cada momento de los que nos hace falta, 
de lo que estamos pendientes y todas esas cosas nos ayudan más que todo a nosotros que trabajamos. Thank you for your words, Beatriz. Thank you, Gracias, Gracias por, por todo. Jaime, gracias por el tiempo y pues por la paciencia, como le decía anteriormente. Y, y espero también a los compañeros pues que sigamos, ¿verdad? Faltan, hemos dado unos pequeños pasos y esperamos verlos en el siguiente módulo también. ¿verdad? Así que muchas gracias, teacher. Si pasamos, no tenemos. <risa> oh, oh, you, will, you will pass, I'm sure. <risa> No, teacher, tenía una pregunta con respecto a eso. Ahí, ahí en la plataforma dice 100, ¿verdad? Pero está una parte sombreada con gris y una con rojo. Entonces yo tenía la duda que si había llegado mi puntuación hasta donde está con rojo y lo demás gris que faltaba. No sé si estaré equivocada. Aunque ahí dice 100, ¿verdad? Pero no sé. Oh, no, el color es solo para diferenciar, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son homework? ¿Cuáles son las tareas? The meter and the final test, the final exam. Ah, sí. ok. Está, okay, está claro. dividido en tres. Bueno, bueno lo, que pasa que, lo que pasa es que la barrita negra era la, las primeras respuestas. <risa> <risa> o sea, todo, todo negro. <risa> Okay, well, tomorrow is Friday and the weekend is coming again. So enjoy your weekend. Nice and, to meet you, teacher. Okay, nice to meet you too, Jaime. Bueno, disfruten su fin teacher, de semana. Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me what is your question. Este, vaya, con usted terminamos hoy prácticamente. Yes. Vaya, y para saber o identificar en qué momento estamos ya en el siguiente, en el siguiente nivel, Entonces nos notifican, digamos, otra vez al correo y sería eh, algún correo acerca de esta va a ser la, la nueva, la, nueva eh, la plataforma y, y todo lo demás, las clases. Porque yo, este sería como mi primer curso acá con ustedes. Okay, Antonio, thank you for your question. Yes, you are going to receive an email or a message to your WhatsApp uh, with the information. When the next course is available, you are going to receive the, the day for you to send the, para enviar la solicitud, ¿verdad? the form. Y otra vez tiene que ser el proceso, ¿verdad? Tiene que inscribirse nuevamente, enviar los documentos para el siguiente curso. Pero ellos les van a avisar, ¿verdad? van a recibir un mensaje en su WhatsApp o en su correo. Así que estén pendientes de la fecha de inicio del siguiente curso. Se les va a informar. Ah. Ah, con, okay. Gracias, con, ante, con anticipación, ¿verdad? Para que usted llene su inscripción tranquilamente y no haya ningún problema. En el ah, okay. caso... En el caso, el, el compañero decía, en el caso nuestro nos mandaron y, bueno, yo ya mandé la documentación, pero no sé si el compañero ya lo hizo. Ah, ok, bueno, revisen entonces su correo, ¿verdad? A ver si les ha llegado alguna información. Si no, estén pendientes que durante esta semana les van a informar. Si no, si no, gracias. Ajá, cabal. Sí, sí. Bueno. Dígame, Elizabeth. En mi caso, los humanos le avisan y ellos me dan la información a mí si quiero seguir o no. Ah, y también okay. me cae a mí el correo. Bueno, de esa manera se va a hacer, ¿verdad? Probablemente haya algún orden, ¿verdad? En algún momento les va a llegar la información pronto, ¿verdad? Así que estén pendientes. Sí, la recomendación es, eh, perdón, teacher, y, y a todos, la recomendación es trabajar, por eso hace mucho hincapié en trabajar la plataforma, que hagas la plataforma lo más pronto posible y cuanto antes, ¿verdad? Porque esa es, ese es una eh, determinante para... para el, el, la aprobación. Yes, that is true. That's true. Thank you, Mario. Bueno, okay. Thank you, all of you guys, for your puntuality, for your attention, and for your participation. It has been really nice to be with you during this uh, night. It has been 16 nights that we have been here learning. I have learned a lot from you, and I hope that you have learned something the, of the things that I have teached to you. 
So thank you very much. Uh, continue studying English. This is a useful uh, language. And if you can learn another one, why not? Right? In French, Italian, so do it. Right? So do it. And so I'm sure that English is going to be useful in your life. Right? In a point in your life, it is going to be useful. So continue studying. You did a great job during this course and I will miss you a lot. So thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Good night. Bye bye, good night. Bye, bye, good night. teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye, teacher. Bye bye, Beatrice. Take care. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye-bye, Monica. Bye-bye, Francisco.